And now, your first alert weather. We got pleasant conditions outside at the moment, especially in Idaho Falls. 66 degrees, sunny outside, and just a slight breeze at three miles per hour. Overall, we are pretty nice outside for the majority of the region. We still are dealing with some lingering rain showers elsewhere along the upper Snake River Plain, sliding along the Continental Divide. And this could get into Island Park in the next couple of minutes and maybe move into Yellowstone even then uh, further on. We're also dealing with light rain showers out by Salmon. But again, this is almost a transition today where we're transitioning between the isolated rain showers that we've been having for the past couple of days, especially yesterday. Uh, and the sunshine that we're going to start to receive heading into the day tomorrow. So it's almost just that last bit of leftovers before we head into some nice sunshiny days and nice conditions heading into the work week too. So we'll show you how that works here on the Vipercast. Heading into the nighttime ahead, these rain showers are still going to try to stay and linger around at least for the next couple of hours. Still see those stray showers possible around central Idaho, still along the continental divide and maybe out towards Yellowstone as well. Meanwhile, the rest of us are going to having a nice calm evening which is going to extend to the rest of the region heading into the early morning hours tomorrow and then Monday. You see most of the rain moves farther out east and will be nice and dry heading into Monday, Tuesday, and also into the rest of the week. I have a low pressure center. This was right on top of us yesterday giving us those isolated rain showers, but today it slid up into Montana, so we're getting a little bit of the wraparound rain showers on the south and west ends of this low pressure system, which are just extending again right along the Continental Divide and not really digging farther anywhere south, uh, digging further south anywhere at all. And once this low really moves out of the region farther out to the east, what comes from our west is going to be a nice high pressure system, which is going to give us the nice sunshine heading into the work week. Also going to be having some nice calm winds along with that too in the process. So heading into the work week, we'll see high pressure system really build in into Monday, into Tuesday, into Wednesday. And I think you get the point into throughout the rest of the week. Not much rain showers even come close, even to the west coast, that is. Most of the rain staying well out far west of us into the Pacific Ocean. And we're not looking for any slim rain chances coming back, I'd probably say earliest Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. So for Yellowstone tomorrow, we had low, or excuse me, we had highs this weekend in the 40s. With the sunshine coming right back into return, into return in its place, uh, we'll have those highs back into the lower 50s tomorrow and even up to the mid-50s for Tuesday. So we're going to slightly increase the temperatures for everyone in the next couple of days, right back to almost September temperatures. So it'll be nice with temperatures getting up to 70 degrees. And Preston, 70 also in McCammon tomorrow. 67 in Swan Valley, 67 also for St. Anthony and Rexburg. Temperatures are going to be increasing, yes, but only by a little bit, probably by a degree or two each day day in the next three to four days. It's 70 in Salmon tomorrow, 67 in Ketchum, 65 in Arco. And lastly, for the Snake River Plain, we'll get up to 68 for Idaho Falls. It, excuse me, 71 for Pocatello. In the 8-day forecast in Blackfoot, 69 tomorrow. We're up to 70 by Tuesday, and then we head up highs into the mid-70s by Thursday and Friday. And then look at that sunshine. No rain chances in sight. Rexburg, 67 degrees, up to 72 for Wednesday, up to 73 for Thursday. Mostly sunny to completely sunny conditions over the next couple days once we get rid of that last bit of cloud cover uh, tonight. Jackson, you might have a slim chance of a rain shower tomorrow. 10% chance, though, at best with partly cloudy skies. And we'll clear skies up for you more on Tuesday and Wednesday. And Wednesday, we get up to 70 degrees still there. In Salmon, 70 degrees up to 76 for Thursday. If you look at the lows, they still get down to the upper 30s. But again, those highs still reaching up into the mid-70s. Here is starting to get into the first good week of October in Pocatello. 71 degrees up to 75 for Wednesday. We're at 77 for Thursday and Friday to wrap up the work week with lows. Uh, pretty continuous in the mid 40s there in Idaho Falls. Not much change again throughout the week. The only thing to notice is that slight increase of temperatures. But besides that, once the sunshine starts to really build into tomorrow, it's going to be camping out here for a while, which will be nice to enjoy. Yeah, wow. Look at the sunny skies across the board. <laughs> it's That'll be gonna, fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. So nice. <laughs> well, be sure to enjoy those days while you can, because like we said yesterday, <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's not present on the eight day forecast, which is still, I guess, optimism for heading into winter, but yeah, it's, yeah. Awesome, absolutely. Well